Well, hello there again, everybody. It's UXW Bill to bother you again with just a short little video. It's been a landmark month for hard drives and myself. Seems that I've had more than my fair share of hard drive failures. Back in December, I had one of these Seagate expansion 1.5 terabyte drives that I took out of the box and it was dead in the box. It worked but it was clicking and clacking and making all kinds of bad noises, something that I didn't discover until after I had some data on it. Luckily, despite its protests and clicks and clacks, I got all the data off of it and I sent it to Seagate and just got my replacement drive, which is a Seagate certified repair, as their, as their warranty policy dictates. They say, you know, we'll repair it, we'll send you a repaired drive, and that's the best we're going to do. And my first impression with one of these about a year ago was an 80 gigabyte serial ATA drive that was being resold as Seagate certified repaired and it didn't go well. And in the end I just ended up throwing that drive away. It seemed that they replaced the logic board on it but that there was a mechanical problem in that drive. And my video network attached storage machine, the one that I had um, been preparing to store videos on with a redundant array of two drives, I put a Samsung Eco Green drive in there and a Seagate Barracuda LP. And everybody said the Barracuda LP is going to be the drive that gives you trouble. Well, believe it or not, the Barracuda LP has been trouble free, much to my relief. Now, I normally have a very high opinion of Samsung hard drives. I've used them in quite a few things and never been unhappy. But the one that I got stopped, um, started to become unreliable. It would stop responding completely, and it would lock the computer up or drop the, uh, drop the RAID array into a degraded state. So I had to send it back to Samsung. And now I've got a third hard drive that's acting up, a Western Digital, uh, green power two terabyte drive that's out in another computer project that I haven't finished and that drive is doing the same thing it's um, not responding properly and so it's going to have to go back as well I don't know if I've just been lucky or if it's been sunspots or what it is but if any of you noticed an increased number of your hard drives packing up and going on vacation I guess I ought to count myself lucky at least all these drives that have failed are under warranty and they've been alive enough that I could securely erase them. So I'll take what I can get.